Hello and welcome to Low Budget Gaming and welcome to the Steam Halloween Sale 2020. So as always, I'll start off with the games that are on new lows during this sale. And then maybe I'll make one or two more videos covering other good deals, games that are equal to their lows or just good games in general. Now before I begin, wanted to quickly mention that the free games from Epic are available for this week and they have a suitably horror theme as well. So we have Blair Witch and Ghost Runner, Ghostbusters, sorry, the video game. Both of these are free until the 5th of November, which is also when the Halloween sale on Epic will end. So remember, they had given away $10 coupons through the year. Some of you may still have them. These coupons will expire on the 1st of November. They are $10 off for any game that is $14.99 or above. The Steam sale is also live. Uh, Epic sale is also live. You can compare the prices and if you get a better deal here with the coupon, you can pick it up if you want. Also, as always, the Should You Play channel, these guys review everything from the Epic Game Store. All the free games that are given away, they also have other discussions, all things Epic Games related. So make sure to check out their reviews. They have done the review for Blair Witch and Ghost Purses, some gameplay, other stuff as well. So yeah, they re release their reviews right when the games go live, when they become free. So good resource if you want to see what the game is like, if it's worth picking up and playing or not. I'll put their links below in the pinned comment. All right, on to the sale. First up, we have Resident Evil 2. This is on a new low. This is 60% off, 799 in India, 1599 in the US, 1399 in the UK, 1599 in the Euro region. I played this last year. I got this with a graphics card that I bought, and I was uh, surprised. It's quite a good game. Decent length. You have to play the game twice from two different perspectives, from two different uh, characters, Claire and Leon. And you get a slightly different story both times. There's also a deluxe edition with a lot of costumes and stuff. So this is completely unnecessary. It does not affect the game in any way. So yeah, base game at 60%. This is a new low. They have reduced the base price of the game. It used to be higher, so it's lower now, meaning the sale makes it uh, cheaper. Next is Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. I've often mentioned this game. This was my game of the year in 2017. Uh, it's got a bit of a horror psychological thriller type, um, you could say story. And yeah, it's a good game. It's a linear story driven experience. It looks at mental health issues as well. And this is 75% off, 182 rupees, 749 dollars, 624 pounds and 749. Definitely worth it for this price. Next is Dark, so another indie horror game. Uh, looks really nice. I, I like the art style. And this is 70% off, 158 rupees, 599 dollars, 464 pounds and 5 euros and 3 cents. Next, we have the three Quantic Dream games. So these got ported to PC not too long ago. And starting with Detroit Become Human, the other two are on sale as well. I'll mention them. So this is only 30% off, 1329 in India, 2799 dollars, 2099 pounds, and 2793 euros. Personally, I wouldn't buy this at this price. I'll wait a bit more. But if you were waiting to get this, uh, you can, I guess. Next is Heavy Rain. So this is obviously a lot older. Still got ported recently. And this is 50% um, off. 449 rupees, 999 dollars, 799 pounds and 995 euros. And then we have Beyond Two Souls. This is also 50% off, 499, same price, 999 dollars, 799 pounds, 995 euros. Next is another indie game. This is Carrion. And they call it a reverse horror game where you are basically playing as the monster, I think. Only 25% off, but this is a very new game. And this is 396 rupees, 1499 dollars, 1274 pounds, and 1499 euros. Then we have Dusk. This is one of those retro FPS shooters. And it's got very good reviews, as you can see here, overwhelmingly positive, 98% positive review. 42% off, 306 rupees, 1159 dollars, 869 pounds, and 985 euros. Then we have Bullets Per Minute, one of my favorite games of this year. So this is a rhythm FPS game. You can only shoot and reload 
to the beat in this game. So a really fun game. I, I really got interested in this and I played a ton of it uh, when it first came out. So this is 25 or stuff, 396 rupees, 1499 dollars, 1161 pounds and 1259 euros. Remnant from the ashes. Now this was given away free on the Epic Game Store. So I'm sure a lot of you have this one, but if you don't, I would still recommend this game. This is on a new low quality game, especially if you play with a friend. 50% off, 720 rupees, 1999 dollars, 1549 pounds and 1999 euros. Then we have 1111 Memories Retold. So this is more of a story driven adventure type game. That's the story of uh, somebody from, like I think a couple of people from the First World War. And this is 84% off 159 rupees, 479 dollars, 319 pounds, and 399 euros. Then we have Trine 4, the Nightmare Prince. And this is a 2.5D co op platformer, you could say. It looks very beautiful. I've played a bit of the first game. There are four different uh, types of uh, characters in the game, you could say classes, and you can switch between them if you are playing solo. You can also have your friends play with you, I think up to four people can play this. And use the different abilities of each of the characters, so fun games. 75% off, 174 uh, rupees, 749 dollars, 624 pounds, 749 euros. The whole collection of all the trying games, all four games, is also on sale, 80% off. Trying 3 is more in your normal third person, and I think that's the reason it did not do too well. Uh, no, sorry, Trying 3. Trying and Trying 2 are like normal 2.5D, and, and then they went back to 2.5D for Trying 4. Then we have Strange Wicked. So this is made by Rebellion, the people who make the Sniper Elite games, and so this is similarly a third person shooter. Uh, it's set during the early 1900s, and it's got that old uh, sort of adventure movies where you are going for like secret treasures and mummies and stuff it's okay i played a bit of it i couldn't get into it too much but it's fun and it's also on a ridiculous price right now 90 percent off 109 rupees only 499 dollars 399 pounds and 499 euros hellbound so another retro fps type shooter looks a lot like doom as you can see uh, overall it's got positive reviews but recent reviews are a bit mixed so you may want to see some reviews before picking this up so this is 35% off 298 rupees 974 pounds 740 uh, no sorry 974 dollars 740 pounds and 8 euros and 11 cents next we have the telos principle as you can see overwhelmingly positive once again so another very well received game this was also free from epic last year during the uh, Christmas period, I think. So this is 90% off, 84 rupees only, 399 dollars, 299 pounds, 399 euros. Then we have Distraint 2, so another very small indie game. I think this is also made by one person, overwhelmingly positive once again. 65% off, 115 rupees, 3 dollars and 14 cents, 2 pounds and 16 cents, uh, pence, 2 euros and 58 cents then we have Assetto Corsa so this is on a new lower so I'll mention this 80% um, off 105 rupees only 399 dollars 3 pounds and 9 pence 399 euros the game also has a bunch of uh, DLCs car packs basically so there are themes there's a Porsche pack there's a dream pack Japanese pack red pack um, the other thing I wanted to mention is, once again, this is a racing game. Meaning, the licenses of the cars, they run out eventually. This game came out in 2014. I don't know what the deal is, like how long the contracts are for the cars, for the licenses. So, might be a good time to pick this up before it gets removed eventually. Most games have like a 6, 5, 7, 10 year uh, distribution period before they remove it from sale because obviously the license is expired and there's no point in renewing them again so just saying that it might be better to pick this up now also the, all the packs are quite cheap as well so you can get a few of them i i wanted the ferrari pack so i might get this 
Then we have God Eater 3. Uh, action game. Again, I don't know too much about this. I got the guys in chat yesterday mentioned this, so I'm covering this here. 75% off, 324 rupees, 1499 dollars, 999 pounds and 1249 euros. The price is actually a little reasonable considering this is a Bandai Namco game. They're not usually good with regional pricing, so maybe they are changing, I guess. Then we have Trials Rising. So another, you could say, a fun little game. You ride your bikes and yeah, I've seen some gameplay, it's fun. Uh, I don't know why the reviews are mixed overall, but recent ones are positive. I guess because it's cheap recently. 80% off, 199 rupees, 399 dollars, 339 pounds, 399 euros. Adam Wolf, again, I, a game that I often mention. This is a point and click um, adventure game, and this is probably the best point and click adventure game. It's actually got a story, multiple episodes, and it's also very, very cheap. So, this is uh hang on yeah this this is just one episode this is the price you want to look at 85 percent off 79 rupees only 299 dollars 224 pounds and 299 euros i get a feeling that this might have been at a similar price in the past but it is on a new low maybe it's just for the first episode then we have graveyard keeper again i have often mentioned this game and this is one of my favorite games i wasn't going to mention this but this is on a new low and the reason for that is they there is a new dlc out for this as well so think of this as kind of similar to stardew valley instead of a farm you have to manage your graveyard and it's got a bit of a story you have to find out what's happening in the town how you got there etc and as i said there are a couple of dlcs as well you do a lot of work here. This is just work. You look after your cooking, you make all these structures and you you have a foundry, you have a workshop here that you cut, uh, you know, stone and wood and stuff and you make your graveyard prettier, make better tombstones uh, stones and things like that. Improve the church, etc. So lots to do and yeah, I really enjoyed this. I have like 70 hours in this game. Then we have a newer game. This is Observation. I believe this was one of the games of the year uh, last year. You see, BAFTA winner. And there is some horror element to this, uh, if I'm not mistaken. 60% off, 227 rupees, 999 dollars, 779 pounds, and 839 euros. Then this silly little game was recommended yesterday on stream called Way of the Samurai. It's an action JRPG, and the reason I say this is silly is, check this out. <laughs> and I'm just mentioning this game because of this. Yeah, I don't really need to mention anything else. This should sell you the game. But anyway, 80% off, 123 rupees, 499 dollars, 379 pounds, and 459 euros. It's just like a fighter 2d action sort of game i think it's got probably got like a weak story over the top action yeah it does look like an old ps3 style game anyway yeah if, if this looks interesting check it out so yeah that's a quick look at the games that are on new lows uh, during the sale i'll probably make one or two videos covering some other games and yeah i'll see you in the next one